city of Flint, and I just say thank you. When we came out here on October 30th and, and with the mayor and were introduced, and I said I was going to bring the team to Flint, I promised them that I would keep the tradition of putting a championship team on the field, and we would do the best we could to bring national championships to Flint. And, and that wasn't just a line of BS. That was real. I mean, the community here has really embraced us. Uh, the fan support and the support from the community. and uh, It's been really good. The energy around it and the excitement around it has been really good. It's amazing. The support that those guys give us, i never seen like anything like that before. If you comment at Wood State and you experience Section 11 and you hear the drums and you see how well this team plays and how hard they put on for the city, I think people are just gravitating towards that. This team as well, they've overcome a lot of different things with some injuries and lineup shakeups and uh, you know, their first year in this community as well. So, you know, the fact that have been as resilient as they have and been able to come through has been, been great. The, the town has embraced us and uh, tonight we're fortunate enough to try to go for a double so I hope we can do it for the, the fans and the people of Flint more so than myself and my teammates. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to downtown Flint, Michigan. We're in historic Atwood Stadium, where tonight it's all on the line. The USL League 2 National Championship. There's no speeches. There's no hype. There's none of that. Somebody's going to walk out of here a national champion tonight. Can Tombe deliver? Oh, of course! Upper right 90, penalty delivered. 1-0, Flint City Bucks. 7,100 plus going crazy. And the final whistle sounds, and the Flint City Bucks are the USL League Two national champions. Congratulations to the Flint City Bucks. They are the national champions. 